But boys, we are out here, boys and girls, actually. And uh, the water is up. Um, we've had quite a bit of rain. Um, I don't know if y'all can see, but basically it's even above summer pool. So it's a little bit muddy. Um, we're gonna go crappie fishing today and try and catch some cold, muddy water. But at least I got minnows today, so let's try to catch them. trees there with some fish on them you can see all those trees there I got quite a bit of fish here man I really wish I had live scope I bet that'd be a lot of fun to try to catch some of these fish I mean you can see them there um, see over here you got the traditional sonar um, and then over here you've got that down imaging and you can see all these fish those are fish right there so about if you look at that line about 15 feet down right there so we're gonna fish for those drop back down to them here there we go the first one got it on that I think it's chicken one it's got the pink and chartreuse so if we end up catching another one on that one we will switch them both out probably that little one though that one straight up thwapped it though i mean it is dead calm out here there we go Come on, come loose. You're stuck on a branch or something. Daggone it. He was on that. But you gotta find the clues here, guys. And that's. Guys, I was sitting, I was here fishing, and I've been fishing with uh, these this double jig rig. And what I wanna show you is, is I actually just had a fish on, and it got off because I got hung in a tree. But you've got to look for those signs. So I've got two different color jigs on here. I've got this white. Um, it's like got a little swimmer tail on it. And then I've got this one here with this pink and chartreuse. Can you tell which one the fish bit? Um, if you're just getting into crappie fishing, this is a good little tip. I don't know. Probably more for the beginner crappie fisherman. But you just got to look for those signs. Um, which one is working. So if you look at this one here. Um. You can see it's kind of pulled down off the jig and that shows you that that's the one that the fish was biting on and you just have to look out for those signs because i just had a fish jump right there Woo! um but you have to look out for those signs because when you're fishing with two different colors i'm probably now going to switch both of my jigs to this color because this is the one that i've gotten the last bite on and this bite on so you just got to look out for those warning signs whenever you're out fishing for crappie if you like this tip please hit the like button um, don't forget to subscribe and check out my channel i'm out here trying to catch some crappie and hopefully catch a lot more today and uh, i'm going to share that video with you guys too but hey guys so i'm actually at starbucks and i'm going through this video right now and unfortunately i found something that happened and i'm going to let you listen to it right here hey, hey. Oh, big fish go. So, as you can tell, the audio got all jacked up. I think it had partially come unplugged while I was recording. I had a big coat on. I had, like, my life vest and all that jazz on. So, I think it came unplugged as I was recording. But, you know what? Stuff like that's going to happen. So, I'm going to leave you guys with a quote today. I'm going to pop it up on the screen here. So this quote right here from Marcus Aurelius really applies. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Not everything's going to go your way every single time and you just have to roll with the punches and keep on moving forward. As always guys, don't forget get outside, do something awesome. Take somebody with you if you get a chance and I'll see you in the next one. Let's get this sucker tied back up. I need another 
I need another one of these. 